Hi, Jeff Lawton here. Here in Australia, we're in an extreme drought. Even in the subtropics here, where normally if we have a drought, it means we're still getting rain, but we don't have any runoff. We don't have any gully run. There's no recharging dams. But right now, we haven't had any rain for two months in midsummer. So it's a deep drought. It's gone right down into the ground. The dams are drawn right down with evaporation and out of our 25 bodies of water, you couldn't call them all large agricultural dams, some of them are small ponds, but out of that 25, we've already pumped down six. So we have 19 to go. That's because we've made an investment in good design, which starts off with water harvesting and rehydration. So we have 25 impoundments of different sizes, but we also have three kilometers of swales, which are inputting water into the soils and subsoils, and that's slowly soaking through the landscape, which has allowed us to treat the landscape, reducing evaporation, reducing runoff speed. So the runoff speed is very slow. It's infiltrated into the land. So we stop the water, we spread the water, we soak the water, and we include natural nutrients of animal manures and ecosystem assemblies of plants and animals as nutrient runoff. It's trickle down nutrient through the subsoils, and it takes thousands of times, maybe tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of times slower to run off this property. So we have retention. Plus, we're very careful how we use the landscape. We move our animals in very specific cycles through specific size cells. We don't stress the landscape. We have grass up to the belly of the cow and the horses when we put them into a new cell. Come with me and let me show you some of the comparisons between our property, which is only 18 years old from the initial start of our design process here, and some of the neighbors in the local area just down our road. There's total bare soil. The pasture looks like it's been burnt. People have been feeding cattle right next door to us and all the way through this landscape. And we're on the coast. If you go to the interior, it's an absolute tragedy. And in some cases, there's been years of drought and it ends with a flood where the animals end up drowning after all this time of putting money into saving stock. We have systems that we've designed where we can moderate the floods and the droughts. We can buffer these extreme events. And by revegetating the landscape, we increase the precipitation with condensation and we're recharging the cloud base with transpiration and some evaporation off dams. Yes, we've pumped down dams. We have some empty dams, but we are drought proof and we are flood proof. Because just a few years ago, we had a very large cyclone where we had half a meter of water come through in 24 hours, half a meter of rain. Some people have had half a meter rain, of rain in one hour in Northern Australia recently. These are extreme events. But permaculture gives us a design that moderates energy and captures energy in life systems, which are rich in diversity that's interactive. And that's how we repair the world. That's how we go into abundance with extreme diversity of nutrient density in food and absolute stability in ecosystems and product yield.